each iOS update, the game is on to quickly update and take advantage of new features. With new features such as focus mode to manage notifications, wallet updates and FaceTime that works with Android, there are plenty of reasons to update. Before you do, follow these important steps to ensure the process goes smoothly. Check device compatibility. Even though Apple is really great with support for older devices when they push out new updates, it's still important to note which devices are eligible for iOS 15. Check this list for your device. Pause the video, obviously, if you need a bit more time to read. For iPadOS 15, there's an equally long list of devices spanning several device generations that are also supported. Once again, pause the video if you need to read a bit longer. Clean up your storage. Now that you know your device is eligible for the update, and good for you if it is, this is a good time to get rid of unused apps and create some extra space on your device. Open Settings General iPhone Storage and see how much free space is available. Swipe right on any app you no longer use to delete. Ideally, you need around 8GB of free space for the iOS iPadOS 15 update. Back up your data. Your next move should be to back up your data. The ideal method is to perform an iCloud backup, as it is the easiest and fastest way to restore an iPhone after an update. Connect to your Wi-Fi network and then go to Settings and tap on your name and tap iCloud. Tap iCloud Backup, then Backup Now. Make sure to stay connected to your Wi-Fi network until the iCloud Backup has finished. Things to do after updating to iOS 15. Now that you've completed the update and your iPhone or iPad is ready to roll out with iOS, iPad OS 15, the real fun begins as you discover new features like focus mode, Safari extensions and better protection for your inbox. Of course, there are a few notable visual updates to Apple Maps and the weather app as well. Notifications have also been redesigned to be more manageable while Safari received a slight redesign to bring the URL bar towards the bottom of the screen for easier one-handed use. Very useful. Restore data if needed. Putting new features aside for a moment, your apps and all of your data should all be intact and ready to go. However, in rare cases with iCloud, your iPhone or iPad may not properly have restored all of your data, like your apps, home screen setup, logins and passwords, photos, etc. Even if all the iOS 15 update has completed properly. In the event this happens, and it is quite rare, erase your device through Settings, General, Reset, Erase All Content and Restore from your last iCloud backup. Activate Focus Mode One of the most notable additions in Apple's recent update is Focus Mode. This mode takes Apple's Do Not Disturb one step further and allows you to stay in the moment without distraction. Get started by going to Settings Focus. Initially, you'll see a list of several profiles, including Do Not Disturb, Sleep, Personal, etc. Tap one of these options or the plus button to see a few other preset options or build your own from scratch. Ultimately, the goal is to set up and filter which apps and contacts will be able to reach you during certain times of the day. That means building a focus mode for work that limits personal app notifications like Facebook. On the flip side, you can build a personal focus mode that limits notification for work email apps like Outlook. How about a fitness focus mode that helps you stay in your zone while running or biking? You can do that as well. Set up a recovery contact. Losing access to your Apple ID account or any important digital account can be a miserable experience. Recovery contact is new and establishes an alternative recovery situation that can help you regain access to your account, even if you forget your Apple ID and password. To set up a recovery contact, go to Settings, click your name, Password and Security, and Account Recovery. Under Recovery Assistance, tap on Add Recovery Contact and authenticate with either Face or Touch ID. If you're in a family sharing group, members of that group are recommended first. If not, choose one of your contacts. A family member will be automatically added, while a contact will need to accept the request. Should you forget your Apple ID or get locked out of your account, your recovery contact can go to Settings, Password and Security, Account Recovery and Get Recovery Code. After your recovery contact shares the code with you, you can reset your password and regain access to your account. Turn on mail protection. Another new feature that has been widely talked up by Apple is the advanced mail privacy protection, enabled by iOS and iPadOS 15. In summary, this feature adds privacy protection by preventing email senders from learning about your email activity. 
On top of that, it privately loads your content in the background, so your email activity is hard to track. Enabling this feature is as easy as going to Settings Mail Privacy Protection. Turn the feature on and it instantly activates. Enable Safari Extensions Safari, Apple's default browser for both macOS and its mobile devices, received a major power-up in the new software update. Among the changes are the addition of Safari extensions. As is the case with desktop browsers, extensions add new abilities and customization to a browser that have been a rare sight across any mobile browser until iOS 15. To find Safari extensions, go to App Store and the Apps tab and scroll until you hit Top Categories Safari Extensions. Look around and download any extensions that suit your needs. Updating to iOS 15 is relatively simple, as Apple makes it very straightforward. The most important step, back up your device. The next most important thing, of course, is to start enjoying all of the new features once the update is complete. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. I will see you next time.